What is the new Hive Treasure Wars update and why is it such a big deal for the community? Well today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about this new update, how much it's going to help the Hive, and get it more players. But before I tell you about this amazing new update, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and that you've liked the video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about are the maps. I There's three new maps for Solos mode and I'm not sure about the other modes, but there are definitely new maps for squads, duos, and trios. These maps are super cool and original and they're very different from the other maps the Hive has made. I personally like these maps a lot more than the old ones and I think they spent a lot of time working on these. All right, now there are actually some more items in the shop. There are three new items. The first one is shears, which is in the tool section. If you don't already know, shears can be used to break wool really fast. This is super helpful for people that just spam wool around the treasure. All right, the next thing that they've added is fall boots. Fall boots are pretty much like feather falling boots for something that eliminates a lot of fall damage. You can find this in the armor shop and it's super helpful. All right, so the next thing is a coarse fruit. Basically, a coarse fruit teleports you to a random location. So if you're in a combo or you're in a battle that you know you're going to lose, coarse foods are very helpful for this. All right, I also want to talk about the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper has a new skin and I think this is pretty cool, but it would even be cooler if you could unlock different skins for the shopkeeper. Also, they've added a few more texts, such as the levels heads in the lobby and also the amount of gold that's in your generator, which I think is really, really helpful. This also applies for diamond generators and emerald generators. All right, I'm going to talk about some things I'd like to see in this update. As I said earlier, one cool thing they could add is that you can lock different shopkeepers. This is already in Hypixel on Java Edition, but I think it's pretty cool. The next thing they should add are throwable fireballs. These should definitely be worth a lot, but they would be so helpful because it's basically like a throwable TNT. One more thing they should add are some potions such as invisibility potions or jump boost potions. Maybe even a speed potion to help people that are new to Minecraft get better combos. I thought this is probably going to bring back a lot of players to the hive, but that's going to do it for this video. See ya.